This week on Mr. Ray's Reality Rap. New rules, new look. Oh my God! That's what season three of LA Hair is giving us. I don't know if Kim Kim was running a sex shop or a hair salon. They have vibrating chairs. Oh, my ass is vibrating, girl. People talking about giving hand jobs. And the walls are bright. Sounds like a sex shop to me. Ooh, girl! Anyway, Kim is letting the stylists this season select their own chair, which means they can sit anywhere. And Anthony apparently is wearing a scarlet letter because nobody wants to sit beside him. I mean, nobody. Not even the roaches on the sidewalk. No, no, baby. No, 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 no. What do you mean? We know that Angela was fired last season, but we have not seen the end of Angela. Oh, hello, Miss Angela. Angela's opening her own shop, but the messy thing is, is that Dante is considering going to work part-time for Kim Kimball at her shop and help Angela launch her own shop. Okay, hold on, boo-boo. It's a little messy, because you know Angela and Kim are not on the best of terms right now. Walk out the door. I'm gone. Walk on out the door. Bye. And at the end of the episode, we will meet Miss Lisa. How you doing? I'm Lee. I'm the new barber. We're going to see that Miss Lisa. Welcome to the Kim Kimball family, bitch. Bye. Put something in the mirror besides her face. You gonna throw my this week on LA Hair, we had actress Gabrielle Union. Kim Kimball was doing her hair for an upcoming wine ad that she had to do. She wanted extensions and she wanted long, sexy afternoon look. Boom! I thought she looked good. This week's Kimballism is. Crazy. I'm not in your face, because if my yes, face you, are. you feel it. <laughs> As always at LA Hair, it's all about the shears and the shades.